What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. I've been having so much fun with the Werewolf Commanders lately that I kind of wanted to put together a little bit more of an optimal spawn camp build using the Werewolf Commander and then just one Gargoyle. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out and see how the DU works out. I think this will work out so that I can get a, um, a Sky Garden as well. But let's see here. I want to try to minimize any extra DU usage as well. Something like that. Uh, taking a look at my Gargoyles uh, and Werewolves. Of course, I'm using Accumulator Hardened and Defense Rate. With Juggernaut, Automation, and Rebounding Strike, uh, the Gargoyles have got Anti-Melee, Anti-Chaos, and Defense Rate. With Napalm, Gargoyles, Mass Destruction, and Destruction. Let's see, can we get, um... Can we get, uh, a Gargoyle up top here? I think we can. Let's see. Yeah, let's go something like that and then we'll give this guy all we can am i gonna be able, i don't think i'm gonna be able to afford a buff beam as well uh actually i could if i got rid of the sky guard thought maybe or no i wouldn't have enough du to put him in everywhere so uh yeah anyway gonna go with this two dogs and a gargoyle and uh see how it holds up let's get it all built out here now, uh, the Gargoyle is completely unnecessary, really. The Werewolf Commanders alone can definitely get the job done on this map. Uh, however, wanted to speed things up. Additionally, want to kind of automate Dragon Lords. Um, I don't think we'll be able to automate the Rollers here, but we will give it a whirl, that is for sure. Let's see. Do the same thing. Just rinse and repeat it all across here. Very nice. And then one more. So, like I said, we're going to have enough for a um, a big boy all for one sky guard, which uh, that, of course, is going to, you know, allow us just to not even think about the flyers. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is going to work out just fine. And then we'll go with... Uh, Another gargoyle up here. What does that do for the range of the gargoyle once uh, range pylon kicks in? Let's give it just a second here to kick in. And see, there we go. It gets it almost all the way to the to the werewolves. So that's pretty darn good. And then ADDU left, so we can do that uh, sky guard with a range pro uh, pylon. Now this is an all for one sky guard, so I can only put one of them down, but I think just that will be enough to really clear out the whole map. I'm uh, going to dump everything into that and let's let it fly and see how it goes. The gargoyle should really provide a ton of lane clear here, uh, especially in this situation where all the enemies are going to be right on top of each other. Uh, that's going to allow for the Gargoyle just to really, really assist in clearing out the packs here. And like I said, we could uh, just go with Werewolves. Um, werewolves alone. We could either move all of our buffs down on these Werewolves, or even go with three Werewolves, uh, just for a little extra damage. Uh, I think two is more than sufficient to hold these lanes. Looks like one of them's going yellow over here. Let's see if he's able to heal through it. I uh, just need some targets. Uh, if this guy gets some targets, he's going to heal right up to full. And um, we're going to get him. He's got the slow on him now from the freeze. Yeah, he's getting healed up now. So in pretty good shape there. Definitely a pretty, uh, a pretty solid spawn camp, really. Uh, the wave went super smooth. Of course, we'll see how it goes when bosses come into play here in the next waves. And then I think this is just a really, really safe build. So, you know, obviously I'm running around just kind of watching, but if you just went lane to lane on your DPS hero and cleared out or helped clear out the lane, it would make this just go crazy, crazy fast. Let's just start upgrading a few gargoyle or a few werewolves as well. Be enough for one on each one of these guys. 
There we go, and I think that will actually get us through the rest of the run here. Let's find out. As I mentioned, I'm trying to just kind of watch and see the power of the of just the build itself. Now I am using uh, that high DPS pet, so the pet is getting a lot of damage in out there as well. Uh, but if you were like, if I was just going lane to lane here and firing into these lanes with an AOE uh, weapon, uh, like this blinking bow that I'm using, oh, it is just going to completely devastate. Uh, these lanes and it should make for a pretty fast going map too now with that in mind if you're going to shoot um i think i would probably not do the gargoyles uh just because you're going to be able to build it way way quicker not having to worry about jumping through hoops to get up on the ledge um yeah i think i would just go with no gargoyles at all now let's see how this uh roller does here Yeah, the gargoyles are getting some damage in on the roller. Um, looks like he doesn't... They don't have a really good targeting spot on him right now. I mean, they would kill it eventually. Actually, they're not hitting it at all right now. Looks like they're just sitting up there, so that explains the slow burn here. So maybe move... Maybe these gargoyles are just too high up in the air. Could always move those gargoyles down. Even it all out with one more round of upgrades there, and then uh, just let it fly here. You know, you could even put the gargoyle down on the ground. I kind of like the, you know, just the whole theme of the gargoyle sitting up high, kind of overseeing the operation here. But if you had the gargoyle right on the ground right there, of course it would be uh, susceptible to cyborgs and frost orcs. But it is just going to pound it out in the lane, without a doubt. Um, doing really good as it is. Dive bomber's getting in there. Gargoyles are quite powerful. Um, I think a lot of people might be missing out on them because of the short range. A lot of folks might look at the range and say, ah, no thanks, that one's not for me. But they're actually just crazy, crazy good and uh, very, very versatile. Uh, it's a trap, so you can use it as you would a uh, trap, aura, or node and, you know, place it just wherever you want. You don't have to worry about it being destroyed by enemies. Uh, of course, it will be susceptible to those, uh, the Borks and the Frost Orcs, but let's see about this one. It looks like, yeah, it looks like the gargoyles are just sitting up there, so they're not uh, contributing near as much as I would have liked against the rollers. Now, I could have moved the werewolves further down or moved the gargoyles down. Um, either one would definitely uh, get the job done here. But it seems to be holding pretty well for the most part. Let's just let it fly. I'm not going to bother with any more upgrades here. Just absolutely beast. The hunter is definitely... The hunter's defenses are just wildly, wildly good. Uh, just crazy, crazy good. The spectral knights, the gargoyles. Uh, the sonic bats, even situationally, are just incredibly good. So it's, um, you know, it's tough not to give this guy a little bit of airtime here. Plus, um, you know, I do love shooting. It's been a long time since I used a bow user. And uh, love me some bow action. Speaking of bows, uh, going to have uh, the bow tier list uh, upcoming here within the next couple of days. Yeah, see, when you are actively participating and firing into the lanes, it just chunks them out. That and this is another one of the maps where uh, the lanes or the packs do come out pretty, um, uh, pretty intermittently. So, like, there's usually not uh, multiple packs, large packs out at the same time. Just allows you to go from lane to lane and just uh, burn it up here. 
Very nice. And on to wave number five. Um, super smooth build. Um, like I said, just absolutely outrageous. Now, I think you could add this into the rotation for like a Sunday chill build uh, if you just made some tweaks. So like the gargoyle would need to come down closer. Um, without a doubt, you could automate this so you wouldn't have to do anything versus Siege Rollers or Dragon Lords. Uh, Dragon Lords are kind of a joke already with it uh, because of the Ignite, but you would definitely be able to automate some Siege Roller action as well, uh, relatively easily, I think. Werewolves, just good. Just good. It's nice uh, to take a break and use something different than uh, the Squire's Training Dummy. Of course, the Squire's Training Dummy is just crazy good as well. Little Warlord action. Yeah, I think um, Diffusion, getting a buff beam with Diffusion on it on those Gargoyles would have taken them up to the range that I need. But what do you give up to do that? Um, we need to come up with 110 DU. We spent what? Because we got 10 left over now. We spent 70 here. So we would need to come up with, uh, what, another uh, f another 40 DU. What do you do uh, to come up with 40 more DU? You get a buff beam up there. I guess you could go without the boost aura and go with a buff, or yeah, no boost aura and go buff beam instead with diffusion on it. And I believe that probably would have uh, remedied that range issue. But there we go. Uh, a little bit of a slappy spawn camp to uh, start the new year here. And digging it. So I will be live later on today. Going to finish up some alt AP resets. Uh, make sure to swing on by and say what's up. And then as always, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Click that like button and leave me a comment down below and it will help me out in the google algorithm but that will do it for this one thanks an absolute ton and i will see you next time around take it easy